So SGM Tactical has kind of taken the aftermarket magazine, Market by Storm. Uh, they've had a few hiccups here and there, which is to be expected of any company, you know. Uh, if you've seen my video on the 33 round Glock 9mm magazine, you'll know that I'm a big fan of this magazine. It retails for about 20 bucks, most anywhere you can find it. And this one uh, was given to me by Kevin, the vice president of SGM, who also used to be co-owner of a local cigar store, which, you know, I smoke cigars in a lot of my videos, but I thought it would be especially important to smoke one here. Well, I liked the Glock magazine so much that when I seen they come out with a couple new magazines for a very, very reasonable price, I jumped all over that. So what we have here is AR magazine, 30 round. Uh, it's a steel magazine, so it's a little bit heavier than probably what you're used to in a Magpul or Hex Mag or even your uh, aluminum GI mags or a stainless steel mag. And they also have this 30 round AK mag. So I brought my AK SBR and my full size 223 AR out this morning. I'm going to put a few rounds through these mags. And Kevin, if you ever see this, and I wouldn't be opposed if you threw a couple of these my way. So, he did give me the Glock magazine, but I did pay for these. So, if anybody uh, thought my Glock magazine review was a little bit biased, you know, so be it. But the video evidence speaks for itself. And the video evidence of the uh, Iraq Veteran 88, 88 uh, full auto Glock meltdown. They used SGM 33 round magazines and had no issues as far as the magazines go. So let's get these loaded up and try them out. So like I said, I got these in the mail yesterday. I've not, I've taken them out to kind of inspect and make sure everything was cool. And it was. Uh, I don't have a digital scale. I may be picking one up today if I can find one cheap uh, to try to you know, show the difference in weight between these two. Uh, but so far I can tell the AR magazine has an anti-tilt follower, so you're going to have better reliability there. It's not going to get jammed up, and the follower is black. Something like, something about an all-black anything. I just love. So that's awesome. And the AK mag. Also, anti-tilt follower, of course. Uh, a little bit heavier than the AR mag, of course, because it's there's more material there. But overall construction seems pretty good. Uh, one thing I did notice about the followers, when you're pushing those down, they've put some kind of coating on the outside here, of course, but it's very, very slick. So, you know, that has its pros and cons. You may want to put some grip tape or something on here for cool tactical reloads. But... The insides there are slick. I don't imagine you'd really have any issues at all. Um, and one thing, these are made in Korea, which all SGM tactical magazines are from what I understand. If that's incorrect, someone let me know down in the comments. But uh, let's load up the AR here. For right now, purposes of the video, I'm just going to load, well I'll go ahead and load it up. good excuse for a time lapse starting right now. So there we got 30 rounds. Once again for this using the Freedom Munitions they were kind enough to send me for a full price. Now let's load up the AK. And one other thing I've noticed about all the SGM mags I've handled, they load very easily. And I don't know if it's because of the springs, which the Glock mag is, probably is because of the stainless steel spring they use. Pretty sure it's stainless steel. Uh, 
But this AK mag here, this first time I've loaded it, like I said, just got it in the mail yesterday. But these go in just like a breeze. So that goes again to credit the coating they put on them. And although these are made in Korea, SGM does have very good quality control over their product. I've known Kevin for, gosh, probably almost 10 years now since I first met him at the cigar store. And really good dude, a good businessman. Always puts his heart into anything he does business-wise. And otherwise, maybe. I mean, I don't know him that well. All right. 30 rounds in there. Let's go shoot. Okay, now first one we're going to try out be the AK. Now, I did put this magazine in the gun yesterday just to try it out, see how it felt, see how it locked up. And it locks in very nicely. Comes out smooth. Goes in smooth. And it just looks good. Got a little bit of shimmer to it there, so let's put a few rounds down range. Load it around perfectly. Try it out. So I didn't count, but that's probably about half the magazine. Uh, worked perfectly no issues there as you could see so uh, let's finish it out as you can also see it doesn't lock the bolt back like most AK mags if I had a Yugo mag or a Yugo follower it definitely would but that's just part of the AK. If you've seen this before, it's my first AR I ever built. And I'll have a new one coming sometime soon. I've got a strip lower sitting in my safe right now that needs something done with it. Uh, now that the election's over, I'm uh, not really worried about people going out and buying everything up. So I'll have another one here soon. But anyway, the steel SGM, same slick coating as on the AK. Locks in there nice. Let's try it out. Oh, had a failure there. And I think I know what that probably is. First, we'll drop the mag. It is empty. So, uh, I haven't shot any brass in this rifle in a while. And that was the first steel case it's probably had in about a thousand rounds through it. So, let's see. Nope. Empty chamber. So, it just didn't lock the bolt back. Let's see if it does. Let's drop the bolt. Alright, it's not locking the... But, as you can see there, the mag does pop out pretty easily. So let's take it over here to the table and take a look at the follower. See if we can figure out what's going on. Okay, I'm going to check something with that magazine there, but first, I need to empty this one out. So as you can see, this one, which is a Black Hawk mag, did lock the bolt back. So let's go over here to the table, take a look at the followers, and see if we can tell what's going on. So after looking at these magazines a little more closely, the back of this Black Hawk mag here, it's got an anti-tilt follower, of course, but the back of it here seems to stick out 
just a little bit farther than this mag. Put them side by side here so you can see. So this magazine, the follower sticking out just a little bit farther to barely get that bolt catch. This magazine, the SGM, is not quite sticking out far enough to get that bolt catch on it. So I've got some Magpul anti-tilt followers, courtesy of Junk Food Zombie, of course. Thank you. Uh, when I get home, we'll uh, continue this video. And I may put one of those in it and see, see if I can get it to activate the bolt catch on this gun. Because I've never had an issue with that on this rifle with, you know, the bolt not locking open on the last round so but other than that the rifle functioned flawlessly with it I mean, it just didn't lock the bolt back so from what I understand this is a fairly new uh, introduction to the market I may message Kevin about it and see see if he has any ideas on what to do I mean I don't really look I'm not really looking for a refund or anything because it is a good magazine I uh, functioned it flawlessly. I can just put a new follower in it, no problem. But, you know, just so they're aware. And that may be how it's designed. I don't know. I don't know how the Koreans work. They're used to their AKs and other assorted rifles. here is a Wheaton Arms muzzle brake. Three chamber, very, very effective muzzle brake. But oh my God, when it's 35 degrees and windy out here like it is today, shoot, this thing will make your teeth hurt. If you've shot an AR with a muzzle brake on it, especially a very effective muzzle brake, you'll know what I'm talking about. So I noticed when I was editing the video, you didn't really get the full gist of the followers here I don't think because the camera didn't focus in as well so I brought it out here got the better lighting so we're gonna take a look here and see the difference in the backs of the followers and you can see what I'm talking about here this one is the SGM this one is the Blackhawk that was shown in the video here you can tell that the Black Hawk has a bigger end section of the follower there than the SGM. So that is probably what's keeping the bolt catch from not not riding on that piece there and carrying the bolt, letting the bolt go back home. So we can remedy that situation with these Magpul enhanced self-leveling followers three of these like I said thanks to junk food zombie gotta love that guy and let's uh, let's see if that remedies the situation here all right we've got our Magpul follower here let's take the floor plate off of the SGM tactical mag and hope the spring doesn't go flying across the room. Okay, so now we got the spring back in there. Let's get the floor plate back on. There we go. Still anti-tilt feels good let's try it out in the rifle so since it's a Magpul product that we're hoping will help this magazine out here we'll shoot it in front of the Magpul poster so I've got the new Magpul green follower in here put it in the gun so this is the rifle I was shooting yesterday 
So, hear the bolt click into, bolt catch click into place there. Held it back. Now, of course, I will check this out at the range and make sure that it does indeed uh, work, you know, during live fire, actual use. But so far, more promising than the follower that came in it. <laughs>